Hi everyone, it's Gail. I am here with another craft with me and I just want to say hi and hugs first to Lorna, Candy, Ruby, and Gertrude. Thank you so much for watching my channel and for your nice comments and everything. Okay, we are going to bust out some stuff today because I'm excited. <laughs> Okay, so if you'll remember, I had some I had some junk mail that I or, or junk that I'm gonna turn into ephemera. So um this piece was from flowers that my daughter sent me. So I am just going to um put that over here. It's not like it's not like tracing paper, it's not like really vellum, but you can you can see just a little bit of the design from my granddaughter's, one of the pages from her, her kit. So I'm going to just cut that. I think I'll use my cutter just to try and be somewhat straight. I think that's going to be about right. No, that's not going to be about right. That's going to be about right. Okay. Yeah, I just have a little time to craft today. So I am actually, it's, it's the early morning crafting again. So if I don't make any sense as I babble along, you'll know why. <laughs> um, yeah, I've got... I could use that for something. I've got uh, so much to do b this week because we are leaving for my daughters for baby shower for double digit and confirmation for my little grandson. So anyway, we are, um, I don't know. I just have so much to do to get ready to go, I feel like. So maybe I'll feel a little less harried later in the week but right now I'm feeling like yeah so much to do so I just wanted to get my hour in for sure yep that's good um get my hour in for sure and then at least I got a little crafting done today we'll see I may have more time this afternoon and be able to do some more stuff. Um, we'll see. The learning curve continues on my Mac Pro. It's it's a dream for putting my movie from my phone to the Mac Pro, but then uploading to YouTube is again taking forever. Like, I mean, I'm talking way more than my old computer, so... I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I think that is kind of cool. And then what I was thinking, um, I'm going to, of course, collage. Now, I have to decide if I want this as a pocket or a journaling card. I kind of like it as a journaling card. So I think I want to put coffee dyed paper in here but here what I'm thinking is let's use some of my trims from my shop around the edge because I think I have some thin ones that would be nice yeah see that's going to cover up the edge without covering up anything else let's dig through here and find some more Thin, thin ones. I know I have some more. There's that one. That's a little bright, though. For what we got going on here. How about this one? It's a little thick, but it can go there without covering anything up. So that's good. Um, there's this one which could be fine and would like like another pinky one haha <laughs> ask ask and you shall receive there we go 
All right, so um, I'll just just hold these up here and click clip them. See, I knew I wouldn't be able to talk. Okay, let's just have a clip. I'm going to put that one there. This one here. Sorry, I got that close to my body like I was crafting all by myself. <laughs> oh, yeah. I was telling somebody last night that it's almost to the point where I almost can't craft without you guys. <laughs> okay, that one there. Oh my goodness, a little eye itch, excuse me. Still, still getting the sleepies out. Okay, let's put this one at the top. Oh, that is so cute. I love that one. Yeah, and I can move that up. Let's see. Yeah, there we go. Sometimes one side is straighter than the other on these, you know, from laying it on the on the printer okay and then we'll put this one at the bottom this will be a basically a one-of-a-kind piece of ephemera because I just don't get flowers that often <laughs> like my husband's just oh I'm sorry hit you hit you with the ephemera folio let me make sure I didn't knock it clear off a I kind of did. Oh, gosh. <laughs> so, obviously, the coordination has not kicked in yet this morning. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Okay. So, we did that. That's awesome. And, oh, my goodness. I have stuff everywhere for, which I always do. I get into a project, and it's just like... My goodness, the stuff is everywhere. Okay, so I'm going to kind of go down, go down the edge and do I want to, probably I do. <laughs> You're probably saying, are you even asking yourself, Gail? You know you want to, you know you want to distress that a little on the edges. Okay, so, oh yeah, this is going to be kind of fun, I think. This particular trim looks really good distressed. It's got little, little bumpies along the edge, but, you know, to get rid of the white or whatever. And the vintage photo, <laughs> it's like it's, it's about the same color, so... That's really kind of fun. So here's my thing I'm going to try this morning. So I I put a video on to load yesterday afternoon, and it's still, it's like it's 60%, and it's gone all night long. <sighs> I don't know. Um, so anyway, uh, I, what I'm going to try is with this this one, I am going to put on my computer downstairs here. I'm gonna see if I can load it while that one is loading on my Mac Pro, which is upstairs. I'm gonna see what happens with that. I mean, it's great if I need my phone, it's great to have it load onto the computer in two minutes, but seriously, it should not take 24 hours to load a video. I don't know, guys. I get so frustrated because, first of all, I spent a lot of money on that computer, but I th there's got it. There's something I'm missing. I know that. Like, like, um, probably something with, um, like condensing the file or something. I don't know. But I don't know how to do it, so that's the other issue. Um, and, to be honest, I haven't taken the time to 
really explore it or I mean my husband and I we've looked online at, at like condensing the file or something I don't know if you guys have any hints of first of all where I could look for straightforward instructions for the thing um, there's that and then also if you could if you know what you do to get the files to load in. I mean, I don't care if it's like a couple hours, but all night long, really? That just seems like it shouldn't take that long. <laughs> oh, you guys, this is a real fun piece of ephemera though. I'm really, I'm really enjoying this. So let me pull it up here so you can see, because I don't know if you can see how the design shines through there. Isn't that kind of fun? I think that's real fun. Okay, so then on this side, we need to do some, some collaging. Okay, this one is, is torn already. Kind of like the edge that has this little I don't know at the rate I'm going, I may have to um, print out some more of Artie Maze's papers to play with. <laughs> okay, so I want to make sure I have it the right side up. Okay, so... Oh, there's my ruler. It's like, where is it? Let's see if we can see if we can use my little grid on my glass to at least go semi straight. <laughs> okay. Theoretically that should be straight. Of course now I'm to this part which is funky, but that's above where I'm at, so we're not gonna worry about it. Okay. Do this. Oh, no. This. Were you telling me? You probably were telling me. Thank you. Every once in a while, I think I hear you because I think when it comes into my head that I'm doing something wrong or I should put something here or whatever, all it can be is you, your collective <laughs> energies coming at me. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that's nice. I mean, it's nice just as it is. So I don't even know if we're going to do much else, but we'll see. Okay, so let's just get that on there. Get a good amount of glue. sure we're right side up and there we go okay I'm gonna put that on for a minute because it might be a minute before we okay so we've got this fun little fun little thing I'm loving it all righty let's let's do the ink and thing. Um, okay, and then I think I'm going to use bits to collage the inside, maybe. I'm itching to get to this other project over here because I did, I watched Wendy's Journal Adventures. I watched her little project that she did with the um, kind of number 10 size envelopes, and I want to do that with my tattered dream envelopes is my thought okay so let's get our basket down here and pull out yeah we've got some good size pieces here i think i'm just gonna put 
that one there. Maybe we'll put that one there. I'm just going to do a quick collage on this. Oh, I hear my husband banging around. He's um, back from his walk. Oh, I don't want to use that because I want to be able to I want to be able to write on it. So we could put that one there. Let's see what other what else do we have in here? Okay, this envelope that I tore apart. We could do That. Right. Like that. And I think I have to I have to use something that's not on my bit box just to give it some variety. Got this one. A little hole right in the middle, darn. Um, let's see, There's another piece of this. Is that wider? Nope. Nope. <laughs> okay. Well, that's okay. We're gonna do this right here. We'll just, we'll just do a little distressing on edges, I guess. That's what we'll do. Rather have that away from that. Okay. Um. 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 Do this little pinky piece. So that's going to go right there to be under there. That's not big enough. I said we were going to bust out a whole bunch of stuff today and I feel like I'm not going quick enough to <laughs> To bust out a bunch of stuff. Oh well, that's all right. We just need to have fun, right? And I'm excited to be able to use this. This just, it just was like, when I saw it with the flowers for Mother's Day, I was like, hmm, there's something I could do with that piece of, piece of garbage. <laughs> there has to be something. I'm going to have to trim that off a little bit. It's okay. Okay, and I'll stick this one here. And this one up in the corner. Like so. And then this down in the other corner. This Kool-Aid or Easter egg dyed or whatever this envelope is, it was an envelope. So it's got a little bit of the markings, which is kind of fun. Okay, I'm going to put this right here. So... Okay, so then, let's see, I had that there, that there. Okay, so those can go on, and then we'll put that other piece on. This is the 
a real crunchy coffee dyed paper that falls apart at the drop of a hat. So it'll be good to have it glued to something. Not quite. Get that. There we go. This. there and this one here and there we have it I have a little strip right there not sure why that happened uh, let's just use a little strip of I don't know. This is just a little piece from a piece of paper. It's got a little flower on it. I would guess maybe it's antique papery or something, but I'm going to use it because it's a scrap that's going to fit right there. Ah! Okay. Alrighty then. Other than if we want something on the back, this one is done except for little little distress see it's not quite covering right there but that's okay because we just stress it and it just kind of blends in ah oh no we are going to have to reinforce the spine because it's perforated okay well it's good that that revealed itself that's no biggie that's no biggie we can fix that Yep, yep, we can fix that. So we are going to grab a washi of some sort. Um, I think I'm just going to grab this one because it's handy and I remember that it was real sticky. So that is a good thing. I hope I'm not off camera here. And down so low. Oh, I guess you can still see me. Okay, so I actually think I might put just a little glue just down the seam here. I'm glad that I figured that out. Would have been putting it in the book or something and had it completely peel off. That would have been such a bummer. Come on, little buddy. Come on. There we go. Make sure we're right side up. That looks pretty cool anyway, doesn't it? I really want to put some on the other side too. I think what we'll do is go mostly on this side, but right like that. I think this particular washi, usually I get my washi at Bella's Bits and Buys, you know that. But I think this particular one I got at Wawa Stationery. So, W-A-W-A Stationery. On Etsy, you know me. I mostly shop on Etsy except for occasional Amazon. <laughs> ah! Come back here. All right. We're going to go kind of up the side of the flowers there. There. Okay. So then, let's just give it a good crease so it remembers that it's a folding card. <laughs> cool. Okay. 
I really like that. That came, that came out great. So here's this side. And then the inside can be written on. So that's going to go in our ephemera bucket right there. Awesome. Okay. I need to clean up a little. Just scooch things up a little bit. So that we can do this project. Let's move things over a little bit. Give ourselves a little room. Okay, so let's see if I can remember. And if I can't, then we'll wing it. <laughs> okay, well, first of all, we glue the flap shut. I do remember that. Um... I'm going to go over on my paper just so I can get the edge. Sorry, I know I'm out of camera. But I'm just going to glue that shut. Okay. And then I think we glue these shut too. If I remember correctly. But I'm going to cut it first. Okay. So, I think I'm going to go this way. And this one may be a little deeper than the top pocket. How will that work? No. Wendy did measurements, which was probably good. But, <laughs> but I'm not very much of a measurer. Sometimes I am. It depends on the project, but I think I can do this without measuring. Okay, so that doesn't really want to stick down because it's all wrinkly because it's uh, coffee dyed, you know, but that's okay. Okay, we're going to just try this. Okay, so this envelope, I'm going to cut this and all I'm doing is trying to kind of frame the frame the window on this one. And so that's going to go down here. And then this one I'm going to want to have to have it be about I don't know about right here so we're going to cut that we have this little piece that we can probably use for collage so I'm going to throw it in there alright that's all the cutting we have to do not all the cutting because we need to Oh, shoot. This is, this is going to be too tall for my book, I think. Right? Yep, a little bit. So, what I think I'm going to do is, I'm going to go ahead and cut that down. To, I think I'll go eight and a half on this. Okay, there's a there's a spot where measuring comes in. So I might have to adjust the pockets too. Okay, so that's eight and a half. We want to cut this side. Oops, eight and a half ish. Okay. I think I can use that for something. <laughs> That's why I keep getting so many scraps. I just keep adding to it. Okay, so this is going to be the top pocket, right? Yeah. And this is going to be the pocket that goes this way. And this is going to be the pocket that goes this way. And for some unknown reason, they actual, actually fit just fine. <laughs> Lucked into that. 
lucked into that. Okay, so let's see, I think I need to glue glue this one on. Actually, I need to get my I need to get my circle punch so I can find it right here. Yes. Um, I think I'm going to do that before I do the gluing just to make life easier on myself. So I'm just going to go here. Except then when I cover it, I won't get that. Okay, never mind. Never mind. All right. So this is going at the top like that. So we need to give it a get its flap all full of glue, I do believe. At least I think this is I think we're doing we're doing what is what is right here. Okay, and then I'm just gonna line that up with the top. I actually think I'm gonna put a little bead of glue right here close this up a little bit okay now we're going to line it up and put this one at the top okay okay so then that's going to flap this way right yeah and then we'll cover that up. So I didn't really need to glue that because that's going to be covered up. <laughs> I maybe should have watched the video right before I did this. <laughs> okay, Wendy, this is the wing in it. This is the uh, wing in it version. Okay. So there's that. This has a little paper left on there. There we go. Super grungy. I love that part of this. Okay, so then this one, because I cut it the way I cut it, the bottom is not closed. So I need to close the bottom. That I know for sure. Otherwise, otherwise it makes a really lousy pocket. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've been so looking forward to doing this and probably doing it when I just wake up in the morning was not the smartest thing in the world, but that's all right. Okay, so then we're going to put this one, line it up at the bottom and put it over the window. Okay, so that's lumpy bumpy in the back there because of the coffee dyeing, but I think we'll be able to, I mean, if it wasn't so lumpy bumpy, we could probably just leave it for um, journaling, but I think we're going to need to put a piece of paper over that. Okay, so there's the basis of it. Okay, I know I want a piece of paper over this, and I would like it to be something that can be journaled on, but I think what I'm going to do is grab, I've got some, what kind of paper? I don't know, I'm thinking maybe I'll just put straw paper on the back. It's a little thicker and I think that might be good because this, like I said, this is a little bumpy. Okay, let's, let's get you guys out of my way a little bit. Okay. So I feel like... Be about right there-ish. Yeah, and it's okay if that one side isn't jagged. That's fine. 
Um, and we are like right, right there. I don't know. Oh yeah. I realize this probably would have been easier if I put the ruler on the other side, but that's okay. We got it done. And then I'm just going to, I think we can put something on that that will jazz that up a little bit, but I think this will be good to have this thick paper on there and kind of pull down those envelope flaps a little bit. I need to get out another glue stick. I'm gonna one of these videos. I'm gonna run out of glue stick right in the middle of it if I don't. Okay, so I just kind of wanna go here. Make sure the top is level. The bottom I'm not as worried about. Oh, oh. Okay, that's good. Yeah, that can be easily journaled on. Okay, and then we have the front. One thing I need to do is get rid of this page because it is super gluey. Put it back in my box of all these things to make stuff out of. Okay, so now um, I'm not positive that I want to cover these. I don't know that I do. So, this is going to be interesting. We're going to make a long tag to go down there, and we're going to want something fun to show through there. Oh my gosh, I feel like there's a lot to do on this, and I only have 20 minutes. Eep. Okay, well, let's get to it then. Um, I think I'll... Maybe let's... Maybe let's do the yellow. Would that be nice? I think that would be nice. Oops, let's use this. So today I have to go to UPS, I have to go to the post office, I have to buy a bunch of cards, I have to make sure if I have um, baby gift bags that I can recycle or I got to stop and get those too. Um, I got to go to the Christian bookstore and get confirmation cards and a gift from my husband because... He's the sponsor of the middle guy. Got to go to the bank because what they really want is money in their card. <laughs> um, that's really nice, isn't it? Yeah, that's really nice. So... Um, what else do I have to do? Oh, we definitely need to clean the van before we get ready to go. And yeah, so I feel, I just feel like I have a lot to do. Um, I mean, I'm going to fix up a box of, I used to sell party light candles. This has been long ago. But I used to, it's Colonial Candles brand. They're a great candle. But anyway, um, my husband can't do. Well, let's see if I, that's okay, because that's all right. I was thinking that's going to close that a bit, which it is, but that's okay. We'll just do a thinner tag in there. It'll be fine. Um, anyway, my husband can't do the smell of the candles anymore. So. I might just go with that. That's just kind of nice as is, and it's the right size. <laughs> Easy peasy. 
And since we're running out of time, that's what I'm going to do. Um, anyway, yeah, so I'm, I'm going to fix up a box of candles because my daughter that we're staying with and that is having the baby shower and stuff, she has a brand new house. And so I think that would be fun for her to have some, some fun. I'm going to go that way. Yep. Cause that's right side up. <laughs> Let's just go right side up. Just just to be wild and crazy, let's go right side up. Um, yeah, so anyway, I want to get that all ready to go. And we need to make sure my husband's suit fits him. Which I, I think it will. He's lost weight lately since he hasn't been well. So... I think it'll probably fit him, and um, but if not, then we need to go find him something. Yeah, so anyways, going to be the epic, epic drive to get there for not very long of a stay, really. That doesn't want to stick to the acetate real bad. So I'm just really going to press it in. Okay, well, that's kind of drying up. Let's ink. And then... And then this we can decorate... in some way. These are so cute, Wendy. This was such a great idea. I s commented on Wendy's video and said she always comes up with such unique, fun ideas. I just think it's it's awesome. And I don't know. The faux front envelope was my idea of, of the century. I don't know if I'll have another one at all. So okay. All right. So I probably want to go around the front envelopes. I don't know. I mean, they're fun like that, but I also think I also think it would be nice to hmm 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 hmm. Now I'm undecided of what to do. I could leave this one just with the coffee dye because I do I do like the look of the coffee dye, and maybe we could just like. Put some. Oops! I just I just struck this through my water. Ah, it was bound to happen. <laughs> um, I'm wondering about a sticker on this side. If we no, those are too small. I want something tall. And if I wanted to stick with the yellow could do that. Kind of want to leave this edge because it's the doily. Yeah, I kind of like that. That's nice too, but I think I like this better. But... Not really feeling the feeling those. No nope, purple. Ooh, I just ripped my pocket. 
That's what I get for having it so full. I'm going to have to washi the edge of that. I think I'll go with that since I'm destroying things in the process of deciding. Let's just go with that. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I don't know. We might have to continue this in the next video. I don't know. I'm just not as not as swift as I need to be to get this all done in an hour. Ah, gosh, sometimes these stickers. Come on, come on, there it is. Don't get crazy and rip the sticker, Gail. Put that way down there. Okay, I think I'll just put that there. I'm going to distress the edges to make the white of the sticker blend in better to the <clears throat> coffee dye. Gosh, we watched a movie last night. It was a Netflix one, and it was on Ted Bundy. Have you guys watched it? I don't know. It's something like... It's got a big, long title. I don't know. It talks about being evil and whatever. But it was um, Zach Efron played Ted Bundy. Boy, did he do a good job. And the movie was kind of from the perspective of his girlfriend. So interesting. I, I was interested in it. Well, that's interesting. We might need to put a word there. I think that's probably what we'll do is put some kind of a word right there, which would look good on this page too. Let's do that. Um, or a phrase or something here. Let your light, let your heart be light. Let's do that. Um, anyway, of course it's dark subject matter because, you know, but, um, it was very interesting to me because in 1974, when I was at, in school at, in Spokane, Washington, and living on the Gonzaga campus, um, we had a time where we had to go to showers together. We had to go to dinner together. We Basically, we were not allowed anywhere on campus by ourselves. We were told there was a man in a Volkswagen who would um, have like a cast on his arm and he needed something lifted in his car. And so he would ask for help. And yeah, it was Ted Bundy. So I remember being scared. I remember being really scared. I mean, you're away from home anyways you know, and which was a first for me. <laughs> oh, let's use this one. This is a Rachel. This is a Rachel. That just popped right out to me. Um, yeah, anyway, so I forget. It was a couple of weeks, and then they said, nope, he's not in the area anymore, That and maybe that was, I don't know, maybe that was at the point where he was in Florida or something, but, but yeah, creepy. That'd be kind of nice. It doesn't fill the whole thing. I like that. Let's do that one there. Um, so yeah. So anyway, I've been, I think I might just do those two trims and leave this coffee dyed. I think that's what I'm going to do there. Uh, yeah, so anyway, um, it was, it was fascinating. There was a lot I didn't know. I mean, I was in school, so I wasn't paying any attention to the news, really, other than to be told not to go anywhere by myself. I mean, that must have been scary for my parents. I've never, I never talked to them about that, but that would have terrified me to have one of my daughters, you know, in an area where there was a 
known serial killer. And I did dumb things when I, <laughs> when I was at school there because my school, I went to a business school and it was downtown Spokane. And, um, we had a bus that took us from our dorm on Gonzaga downtown, but I had to, um, a couple of times I had to stay late because I was working on a project or something and missed the bus. And so I'd walk to the dorm and there was between downtown and my dorm was like this <laughs> kind of warehouse, kind of warehouse train district kind of thing. Yeah. Oh, my mom was mad when she found out that I did that. But, I mean, how else was I going to get home? I didn't know how else to get home but walk. So, and 1974 was the year of the World's Fair in Spokane. And so, um, that was there too, which brought a lot of nice people, but it also brought, brought some unsavory characters. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't know. I guess I lived to tell the tale, didn't I? Let's see. I'm thinking maybe this like that on there. I really like that ticket, though, so let's just do that. Uh, yeah, so anyway... um. It really, the movie really kept my interest because that is just, that's like a trauma of my young adulthood was knowing that there was this creepy guy that was trying to get you into his car and subsequently kill you. <laughs> sorry, that's a really dark subject. I'm sorry for my, my friends whose children's wa children watch this. <laughs> oh. But, um, but yeah, it was, that was an interesting time. And boy, they had a hard time catching that guy and keeping him. He was smart. That's what's such a shame. I mean, what a, what a brilliant guy. And, you know, he could have used his brilliance for good, but, but I'm sure he was also mentally ill, you know, I mean, Nobody does that that's not mentally ill. Okay, so let's give this a little of this. I have no idea what time it is. I'm probably way over, but that's all right. I was kind of thinking of something on here too, but I'm not sure what. Okay, well that is kind of kind of covered and then so I'll show you in case you didn't watch Wendy's but you should go over and watch Wendy's maybe if I if I download this movie on my old computer I can attach her channel that's the other thing I haven't figured out on the Mac is how to attach other people's channels because the URL doesn't come up so you guys let me know if you're a Mac Pro expert and message me on Facebook and talk to me. Talk to me. Talk me through it. And then we'll make something that... Oops. Yeah, that's going to be... A little... little glued over. Yeah, I don't want that part to be glued. But anyway, so then something can go through here on this on this little pocket and show through so we need to make that yet and we need to make a tall tag that goes in here and something fun shows in there so this one is a work in progress but i'm excited about where we got to on it let's see guys oh i have six minutes left holy moly that's exciting let's see That would be fun showing through there, wouldn't it? So we have to figure out a little base that is the right size here. Um, for the journaling card, right? Okay, 
Okay, that's a little too wide, so let's just, but we want it to be wider than that, so let's just cut this down, see if that's better. Maybe we'll go this way, and then it's a straight edge, and I'll be easier to go in there. Well, that's good. Why isn't it? There we go. Doesn't want to go all the way down in there very badly. Must be sticking on the lip or something. There we go. If it was thicker, it might help too. Okay, so I'm going to say we want this just a little bit lower than that. So we want to cut it off at about right here. We don't want it to, I don't want it to stick up too much because I'm going to I think I'll put a tab on it. Okay. I'm going to put a tab at the top so we have something to pull, but yeah, so let's, I'm deciding if I w I'm going to want to sew around it. I'm not sure I am because it's kind of finicky about getting into that, um, into that space as is. So if I've got it well glued, that's good. All right, well, okay, I want this right there is what I want. So we're just going to cut this and we're going to cut right down this. There's a lovely little piece to play with later that might come in handy. So let's see. I'm gonna want that. I'm gonna want that right in the middle, this way. Thank you. I think you told me. I think you told me again. Would have done it up the wrong side. Okay. I think I'll just distress this afterwards. So I'll put that on there. and then going across the top let's just put that on there I want it under this one so just go like that there we go yep and clip that off. Okay, that's good. And we probably have a piece of we probably have a piece of coffee dyed paper. Ooh, here, this one. Oh my gosh. The measuring gods are with me. <laughs> That is perfect, perfect, perfect. Back in the bin. Okay. We still have a bit more work to do on this. It's, it's coming to my attention that <laughs> making ephemera takes like an hour to make one piece. Boy, when you think of that, a lot of work goes into a journal, doesn't it? Holy moly. Yeah, a lot of work. Okay. We'll do this side and then we'll put
put a bit of a tab on it of some sort at the top, but I just want to see what it'll look like because then I think we're basically out of time. Okay, so there, here's our piece. And we're going to just, it is going to slip down in this pocket. And any luck, it's going to go all the way down. Oh, I see. It's stuck right there. Where's my... My letter opener that comes in handy for ungluing things. go I think that's I think that did it let's see it's not super sliding friendly is it but it's good enough it's good enough so that's how that looks I really I'm really liking it I don't know if I want to cut that down a little bit. I might. I might cut cut that down a little bit. Because otherwise it's going to stick out of my book, I think. Oh, I guess not. I guess not. I guess it's okay. So cool. Well, this was a great idea, Wendy. Thank you so much. And I loved using the Tattered Dream envelopes for it. I just think it came out really cool. I want to still do something here. Need to make the tall tag to go here. M need to make something to go in this pocket. So we still have a little work to do on this guy, but that's okay. So thanks everybody for watching this episode and we'll just see you next time. Bye-bye.